Part C, given that the equation f of x equals kx plus 2, where k is a constant has exactly two roots, find the range of values of k. The question got three marks. In part C, it is stated that this equation has exactly two roots. Exactly two roots means this modulus function equals this has only two solutions. Or in other words, there are only two point of intersection between this modulus function and this straight line. They want you to find the possible values of k. Though the question has only three marks, the question is a little bit of a tricky question. This straight line has y-intercept 2. Uh, now we already know the vertex of our modulus function is 2.5,3. That means this is 3 and this is 2.5. Now we are dealing with another uh, straight line which has y intercept at 2. 2. So we are going to draw a straight line which has y intercept 2. Now this k, k is the slope of this straight line. The k is just a constant, it's not given whether it's positive or negative. So we are going to uh, analyze these uh, cases, both the cases, negative and positive. Let's say k is negative. Apparently the y-intercept is 2. So if you draw a line with negative slope, it won't intercept with this modulus function at 2 points. At most you will get only one point of intersection somewhere up there. At most only one point of. You will never get, you can draw any line with negative slope. At most you will get only one point of intersection. That tells us k will never be a negative value. How about k is 0? If k is 0, the straight line is y is equal to 2. That means no point of intersection at all. So k cannot be negative, k cannot be 0. So k should be a positive number. So we know k is a positive number and they ask you to find the possible values of k. Not a particular value, a range of values. So let's say I'm going to draw a line now that passes through the uh, point 2 and parallel to this positive sign. This line is parallel to the positive sign. The slope of this positive arm is 4 because 2 times 2 is 4. This straight line is 4x plus 2. The slope of this straight line is 4. So you will have only one point of intersection because this line is parallel to this. So you won't get any more point of intersection. But the moment you reduce the value of this slope to lesser value, anything less than 4, you will have a straight line which will definitely cross the modulus function somewhere up there. So as long as the slope is less than 4, it cannot be 4, it has to be less than 4 you will have two point of intersection because our y-intercept is here. y-intercept is let's say somewhere here, you won't get any point of intersection. But it's it's given there the y-intercept is 2. So in this case, if the slope is 4, the line is going to be parallel here. So you will get only one solution which is against the, the statement given. There are two point of intersection between these two lines. So for sure, the slope will be less than 4. The value of k will be less than 4. Now, can I just leave k less than 4? No. Because if we consider a line with, with a slope, a particular slope, and passes through this vertex, you will have only one point of intersection. And if you take any slope less than this, you will have no point of intersection. So you need to consider all the lines between these two. You can consider all lines with any slope with, between these two. So you will have two point of intersection. Now, this line passes through 2.5,3. So you can find the slope easily. Your given equation is y is equal to kx plus 2. The line passes through 2.5,3 substitute y as 3, x as 2.5. So your k will be 3 minus 2 is 1. So k will be 
1 upon 2.5. So if you take any slope, any line with the slope more than 1 upon 2.5 or less than 4, it will have two, in, two point of intersection. So that, that leaves us with the lower limit, two, 1 upon 2.5. k less than 4. So this will be the range of possible values of k. These two points are not included because if k is 4, the line is parallel. You will have only one point of intersection. If k is 1 upon 2.5, the line will pass through the vertex so that you will have only one point of intersection. So it has to be in between these two values. So that's how we find the range of possible values of k.